Hi, I'm Brie McAdam, court reporter with the Saskatoon Star Phoenix, and this is the docket where I talk a bit about the court cases that I've covered during the week. So today in Saskatoon Court of Queen's Bench, uh, there was a sentencing hearing for Dustin Sand. He's the man who set up a drug robbery where one of the intruders ended up getting shot and killed by a man who lived in the house. Now, even though Sand never stepped foot in the home on Garrison Crescent, he was charged with manslaughter because he organized the home invasion, knowing that there were guns inside and the possibility for violence. Um, he pleaded guilty in the middle of his trial last June, and today the Crown asked for a 10-year sentence because of Sand's extensive criminal record and his inability to have learned from any past programming. Now, we also heard today that a month before the fatal home invasion in Saskatoon, Sand was also involved in another home invasion near McDowell. It was completely random and fueled by the need for drug money. Uh, the Crown and Defence uh, on that case jointly proposed a six-year sentence, and that would be on top of the manslaughter sentence. So in total, the Crown is seeking 16 years. The defense wants a seven-year sentence, which is the same sentence that most of the home intruders got. Um, she argued that although Sand did plead guilty to manslaughter, he's not really that much more culpable than the men who actually invaded the home. Um, she said that they were motivated by their own desire for drugs and money, and that Sand just wanted revenge on a man who lived in the house. Uh, the sentencing decision on that case is expected in May. And uh, earlier this week, a trial began for two men accused of selling fentanyl-laced cocaine in connection to seven overdoses in Saskatoon last year. Now, the trial is caught up in charter applications right now, so we haven't actually heard any evidence on the trial proper just yet. Uh, the defense is currently challenging the search warrant that led to Jatman Jot Gruel and Shervin Das B. Harry's uh, arrest uh, when they were charged with drug trafficking offenses after cocaine laced with fentanyl was found in a home on Polichenko Lane. Um, four people did die from their overdoses and the men were eventually charged with manslaughter, but this trial is only uh, related to the drug offenses. Um, the voir dire hearing is expected to continue in June. As always, you can read more detailed accounts of these stories at thestarphoenix.com.